Saudi Crap and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza and it's Tuesday, January 4th. We're here at Royal Phuket Marina for the Phuket Rendezvous event, Thailand's number one marine and luxury lifestyle showcase. The event starts today and will go on all the way until Sunday and includes exhibitions from some of the biggest brands in the world. It's really a good time here. The Phuket Governor Nora Papatong even stopped by earlier today for the opening ceremony with much fanfare. Our radio station Live 89.5 will be broadcasting live from here all the way until Sunday, so be sure to stop by and say hello. Now here's the news you need to know. The Seven Days of Danger New Year Road Safety Campaign is now over and the final tallies here in Phuket include two people killed and 46 injuries in 46 accidents according to officials. Throughout the entire Seven Days campaign, police issued nearly 5,000 fines, mostly to motorbike drivers not wearing their helmets. Alcohol was the biggest factor in all car accidents in Phuket following the trend nationwide as drunk driving cases accounted for almost 90% of traffic offenses in Thailand. Other nationwide statistics show that 423 people died on Thai roads during the entire week-long campaign. And a nightmare came true for one family in Suratani as relatives found a nine-year-old little girl dead in the morning after she was bit by a cobra while sleeping overnight. The grandparents of Prapawi Prawat found the girl's lifeless body in her bed yesterday morning and an initial examination by authorities shows that the girl most likely died of a snake bite on her right forefinger. Police say the girl may have been dead for at least eight hours and the cobra was found in the bed though it was later killed by neighbors. An autopsy is now being done to determine the exact cause of death. And pretty soon, disabled foreigners who are 65 years or younger will be able to take advantage of tax exemptions worth up to 190,000 baht. That's according to the cabinet in Bangkok. Officials say they will approve legislation connected to the revenue code that is, quote, designed to create fairness and non-discriminatory treatment for non-Thai disabled residents of the country. The tax exemptions could be applied to income from the beginning of last year, but they must have a disability certificate approved by the relevant agencies. And it all conforms to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. And stay right there, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Patong's favorite steakhouse for the past 20 years. For more, find Sam's Steaks and Grill on Facebook. When you think of steaks, think Sam's. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A former monk is facing legal action after he was arrested at a monk's house in Phuket's iconic Big Buddha landmark yesterday and all for robberies he allegedly committed in Trang province last year. Police say 31-year-old Wadawit Satjabut had escaped to Phuket and taken up the monkhood at Big Buddha after two robberies last year in Trang, his home province, once in May and another in September. Wadawit allegedly admitted to the thefts and, after being defrocked by the temple, he was taken to Chalong Police Station where he was later transferred to Trang to face the charges. Once named the hairiest girl in the world by Guinness World Records, Supatra Susupan is now almost unrecognizable after photos emerged showing her without her famous facial hair. Back in 2010, Nati, as she is known, was named the hairiest girl in the world as a teenager, all because she suffered the rare genetic condition called Ambra Syndrome, of which only 50 people are known to have, according to Coconuts Bangkok. The 17-year-old who for years tried various treatments with no success, she posted photos recently showing off her shaved face, including images with her significant other. Reports say that despite being heavily bullied as a kid, she maintains her positivity throughout it all, saying she still has tons of friends and that being hairy makes her special. Best of luck to Nati. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube or thephuketnews.com, you can check out all these stories on the links below. We'll be here at the Royal Phuket Marina at Phuket Rendezvous event all the way until Sunday. So come and say hello. Thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. ทำไมถึงทำกับฉันได้ทำไมถึงทำกับฉันได้ <laughs>